Hello and welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to reset your engine idle. As we can see I have got a perfect idle on this uh, Toyota 2.2 D4D. It wasn't like this uh, a day ago, it was all over the place, kept stalling. So this system should work on any Toyota uh, built from the year 2000 probably to 2009 and uh, I was pretty skeptical that this was going to work and all this does basically is it relearns the fuel trims. Now um, the idle on this is idling just over 800 but that will change um, so if we put the climate control on um, it may bring the idle up to 1200 and when actually your the wheels are in motion uh, it will probably idle just under a thousand. Um, so it wasn't affecting the high idle and it wasn't affecting it when you were below a thousand it's only when you stopped like now and uh, the car is stationary uh, the it would struggle to idle so I'll go into how I actually uh, did the reset and uh, as you can see I was quite skeptical to start off with but this is the end result so this is the problem with the idle um, basically uh, when you're at a fast idle it's it's okay so um, the when it's cold it will bring the idle up to around about 1200 or 1100 rpm and when you're driving and the vehicle is moving it maintains a good idle of around about 1000 or 900 but as soon as the vehicle realizes that it's stationary it goes to a much lower idle where the idle hunts as you can see it's barely running um, so I know there's nothing really wrong with the engine because uh, when it's hitting those higher idles um, it's absolutely fine so what we've got to do is um, we've got to turn the engine off turn it back on again but not start the engine turn it back off and then start the engine with the car in uh, with your foot on the brake and the handbrake on. So we're going to do that now. So ignition on. Uh, it tells you to turn off all accessories, lights, uh, radio. So everything else needs to be turned off. And uh, we're going to start the car so now it should go into a learning sequence and learn the idle it says you should have to do this for five to ten minutes so um, yeah i won't leave you watching this for five to ten minutes but i will update you how this works out so the engine stalled on me had to restart it um, seems to be a little bit better we still got this unevenness and this tends to build it's almost like a cyclical thing here we go it started misbehaving again up and down I'm really not sure that this uh, you're not supposed to touch the idle you're just supposed to yeah supposedly I said Turn the uh, engine off, um, turn it straight back on again, uh, handbrake on, foot on the brake, everything else switched off. It says it takes five to ten minutes, but if the engine is stalling, um, it's going to take a long time because you're never going to get that ten minutes, five to ten minutes, I don't think. That's stalled again, so going to follow the procedure again. So. It says, turn the car off, turn it back on again, ignition on, off again, and then start it, foot on brake. Now it seems to be idling fine. This sort of builds up.
go again. The other uh, suggestion that I read online was to disconnect the battery. Um, but the, the reason it uh, says this happens is because the battery has been disconnected and it's having to relearn or readapt its throttle positions. Um, that's what it says. Uh, this has been better than it has been before, so maybe this process is actually working. Um, it's quite stable there. Not moving around so like it was before. So yeah, maybe the process is actually working. Uh, I'm gonna monitor that for a bit longer because it's pretty boring for you watching me stare at an idle uh, needle and we'll try again okay well maybe this does work so um yeah, we're just coming up on five minutes now and as you can probably see it seems to have sorted itself out so not, not got any hunting from the engine Seems to be quite happily idling there at 800. Oh, spoke too soon. Here we go. We've got a little bit of hunting going on there. Yeah, there, there it is. It's back. seem to soak that up to be honest before as you saw the engine would stall it says it could be up to 10 minutes so let's give it a little bit more and I'll report back so we've been doing this for nearly 10 minutes now now what I've noticed from this whole process is um, it runs for about two minutes and then the car goes or the throttle goes through almost like a test sequence um, where the throttle basically uh, ups, goes up and down essentially uh, and then obviously the well not obviously there we go this is it this is where it starts to do it, it goes almost like a hiccup like a test sequence it's doing it now doing it and that's it it does that to see where the bottom and the top stops are and then smooths itself out so we've currently been idling for about eight nine minutes since the last reset but I've been doing this process for for ten minutes what I'm going to do is we're going to Switch that off. Switch it on again. Switch it off. Okay. Uh, let's just see how this um, this goes for. I'll um, turn the camera off. I'll give it a couple of minutes. So to uh, nine minutes past eight, and we'll see how it goes. So as you probably heard from the start of this video, I had little to no confidence that this was gonna work. And as, as I've been going through the process, um, I was losing, losing confidence, but uh, I've left it five minutes um, and for five minutes the needle has sat there absolutely rock steady it's just sat there um, even the engine uh, itself 
much more consistent so as I said a little bit earlier I think um, it's to do with uh, feedback from the exhaust gas sensors uh, and uh, injector pulsing the AMF sensor um, and all that kind of stuff and it's and it's going through this loop uh, and without going through this learning process um, it just kind of does what it has to to, to make itself run but um, yeah that really has worked so um, yeah uh, hope you've um, this has really been helpful for you um, if you could like and subscribe it will help to share this across the platform and possibly help other people with a similar problem.